So today I'm going to show you two different things. If your content grows too high and it's in a column, how do you scroll that content? So that's one. And secondly, how to show a progress indicator vertically and horizontally centered regardless of the size of that scrollable content. So let's get started. I've got this example from a previous lesson where I sort of cheated. I'll show you why. If I change the heights to, let's say 400, we basically just want to exceed the vertical size. So let's run that and see what it does. Okay, so you can see that the bottom overflowed by 208 pixels. So to deal with this, we need to add a scroll view around it. So I'm going to add it here around this root element here. So we're going to say single child scroll. Does it have autocomplete? Yes. And then for that, we're just setting our child. Now let's find the center's closing brace. So we need to close it. A round brace. I think that's it. Let's run it. Okay, you can see that it's not chopped off anymore. Now, let's go and add a progress indicator without worrying about its positioning first. We're going to add it here as a child of this column. Progress indicator. And no, it's going to shout at me if I don't do const then. Let's run that and see. Okay, so you can see that it's rendered there. How are we going to get it to render here in the middle above the other content? So that's where the stack widget comes in. Column, put your stuff below each other. Stack is sort of like absolute positioning in CSS, where your stuff's rendered from top left and you've got content rendered on top of each other, not in vertical space, but in Z index. So let's put in a stack as our body. And that takes children. So we do that array. Let's find this closing brace here. So we need to add, close the array and close the stack. Okay. So let's run that. Okay. So our indicator is still rendered here at the bottom because it's in that column. So let's move it out there and rather make it a sibling of the column. Run that. Okay, great. So you can see that it's being rendered top left. I actually wanted you to see that when items in a stack, it renders top left absolute positioning. Our blocks are rendered vertically in the, horizontally in the center because we've got it in a column. Let's go and fix this positioning here. It's the alignment attribute and we can go and set it as, okay, let's give that a try to see. Oh, sorry, I've got that in the wrong space, not in the scaffold, silly. That comes in here in the stack. All right, so you can see that we can scroll and our progress indicator stays in the center, regardless of whether we're scrolling and all that sort of stuff. So I think that's a pretty useful lesson. I hope you agree, you know, getting stuff scrollable and getting stuff absolutely positioned. Showing progress indicators is such a common thing to do. Hope you found it useful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. See you next time.